love sending Kim pictures because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like to. Too funny, it. mama. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, that was I was like, I had to play a song. Too funny, mama. What's what they're doing? Hello, ladies. Congratulations on the 100th episode. I'm in my own damn tub. I don't need yours. So there. Enjoy the episode. I'm just chilling. Hey, it's your girl, B-Flat, and I just want to show some love to my two funniest heifers, Kim and Sherry. Congratulations on your 100th episode. Sorry, it's a tongue twister. Love ya. And I'm drunk. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Throw that in there. It's my birthday. And don't edit that out, Grace. Hey, Kim and Sherry. Congratulations on 100 episodes of Two Funny Mamas. I love this show and I love co-hosting. Thanks for having me on from your favorite co-host. Don't forget your favorite, C. Mickey. Mwah. Kim, Sherry, it's Craig Shoemaker also known as your mediator. Congratulations on your 5,000th episode. What, how many is it? Whatever it is, you've had a lot of episodes. It would have ended at 89 if I didn't step in. Remember your fight? And remember how we settled the fight on the air? And then remember how you submitted it to win the NAACP award? I think you should fight more, have me on more, and you'll do even better. You have how many more? 3,000 more episodes. Anyway, congratulations, you're the best. Can't wait to see you again. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think either of you would be a damn thing without me, but you've done it. Congratulations on 100 episodes. Two funny mamas, love y'all. Hi, I'm Frida Payne, and I am here to congratulate you both on your 100th anniversary of doing Two Funny Mamas. Now, Two Funny Mamas has been more than just a show, it's been an event. And that you two working together, you just bounce off of one another like that. It just works out. You can't help but be funny. Uh, I had a good time, and I have to say that I'm proud to uh, have been one of those guests on your shows. Talking about my book and my CDs and all that stuff and my whole career. So congratulations, ladies, and keep up the good work. Sherry and Kim, congratulations on 100 episodes of Two Funny Mamas. That's a whole lot of ADD, dysfunctional uh, digressions, starting a topic and not getting back to the original topic. That's a whole lot of that in one podcast. But I love you too. I'm excited for you. Y'all started this journey and I said, listen, see if y'all can go like six months and not kill each other and stick with it. And the fact that y'all stayed with it this long is a pretty remarkable thing. I love y'all. Keep entertaining people and congratulations on the NAACP Image Award. Good morning, girls. Good afternoon. Good day. It's 420, which may not mean anything to you too, but it means a lot to some other mothers up here. Happy 100th episode, 100th episode of Two Funny Mamas. And as another funny mama over here, I just want to say I know what it takes to pull them episodes together. I only got 60, 62 of my episodes up. I was like, I, I, I can't do it no more. Um, uh, time would not permit. Mothers need a laugh. These days we need to celebrate a hundred of anything. A hundred dollars, a hundred years of life, a hundred sit-ups, a hundred episodes. There's nothing to shake a stick at. So you have a wonderful day. I'm going to do what I do over here on 420. Congratulations to you both on your awards and your fan base and everything. Congratulations, my friends. hundred episodes. Hey everybody, it's your girl comedian Melanie Comarcho, and I just want to say congratulations to two funny mamas. 100 episodes. They just made 100. That's a milestone, y'all, in podcast time. 100 episodes. Congratulations. And I'm not psychic or anything, but I see 200 coming soon. Congratulations, ladies. Two funny mamas. They doing it. They doing it. Y'all make sure y'all support my girls, Two Funny Mamas. Hey! Congratulations, Sherry and Kim, on your 100th episode of Two Funny Mamas. 
we were asked um, to give one thing or one suggestion that you guys may can improve on. My suggestion is let's try to schedule the podcast at least eh, five days ahead, not five minutes prior to the podcast starting. That way, you know, Chris, I have everything intact. We can keep giving the listeners another 100 episodes. That would be great. Fantastic. Congratulations. You guys deserve it. Keep rolling. Don't stop. Nothing but up from here if we get the schedule right. Oh, 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 it's the Two Funny Mamas 100th episode show. See what I did there? Took a little Tom Joyner, brought it to you guys, and Two Funny Mamas. I could not be any happier for you and your success. Thank you for your friendship, for the fun, and thank you for being some really just good chicks and great people and human beings. So very happy for all the success you guys have achieved so far and looking forward to the next. Take care. I love you very much. Go, Two Funny Mamas, go! 100 episodes. Wow, Two Funny Mamas. What's in your purse? Should be what's in your bra. That's what you really should say. It should be what's in my bra. But anyway, hey, congratulations. He told you the place to be, got kicked out your mama's university, and happy 100th anniversary episodes. I don't know if it's even an anniversary, but one episodes is major. You help us can talk a lot. So I'm surprised it's not a thousand episodes by now. God bless y'all. I love y'all too. You know that. That was amazing. You know, I almost shed a tear, even when Andre's feet was in the, and we almost saw his balls. I almost cried. Uh uh-uh, uh, that is okay. First of all, let's just say, hey, everybody, welcome to Two Funny Mamas Live. As you can see, you saw all our friends saying, Congratulations on our 100th episode. This is it. This yeah. Is it. Try to get taller than me. Stop it. Stop oh, trying yeah. to always beat me. Dang, I'm on my on. laptop in my hotel room. That's why you my background. You to show your titties. I know what you're trying to do. No, I'm trying to put a cute little background behind me. Put your chair back up. Now you don't went too little. Now you look like a hobbit. Can you come back up into life? Thank you. Okay, so look at this one right here. On the 100th episode, this is how we're going to start. Y'all Girl, welcome. you. Huh? There you go. Now there we go. You. That was fantastic. Andre started off with them there, but why did his water look dirty? It was all milky looking. I was okay. like, the, the beginning of the water. Go ahead. This what is, Kim, this is why the singleness is still there with you because you couldn't let it go. I wasn't <laughs> even going to say, no, I wasn't going to say the tub was not as luxurious as yours and mine. That's why Andre uses our tubs all the time. But sometimes you got to just let stuff go and just accept. Okay. Andre, right. he, the, the, the silver lining is that Andre loved us enough to okay. make us a video. Okay. I just all right. was concerned he was going to show something and he didn't. Ish. And he, he, he was good. He had to do it in the tub. That was real cute. But Andre ain't gonna get no women showing. Okay, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. You have you to can't. let it go. But then we did got. You see... Wait, go ahead. Go ahead. This was exciting. No, it was very exciting. I mean, look at we had a lot of Guy T and Civil Wilkes from the Tom Joyner Morning Show, and mm-hmm. I can't read my writing. I don't know who that I... is. No, David Arnold, me. B flat, and hey. uh, Siobhan. You know, Siobhan was funny. Your Siobhan who talked about if we could schedule the podcast, give them five days in advance. That was Kim's assistant and road manager, Siobhan. And Siobhan and my assistant, Mm -hmm. they're always trying to schedule the podcast at least a few days in advance, but Kim and I are so busy, we always have to cancel. And we basically go, I got 10, I'll be ready in 10 minutes. Can we do the podcast? And poor Chris has to figure out how to accommodate. He's got to get an engineer. A sound he was late person. today. He was late today. Because I couldn't get my wig. I didn't know. I can't do my own makeup, and it just looked crazy. And my chicken. That's wasn't why ready. I was late. Hmm. Right. I said, you know, my chicken wasn't ready. I gotta have a piece of chicken on the podcast, or it ain't gonna seem right. 
Uh-uh. What? If you don't stop with that eating the chicken, we got to elevate after 100 episodes. So this is the last right. thing you're going to get to eat. Okay, my last time eating a piece of chicken. But wait a minute. See Mickey's little, she did that little animation character. Why did she look like she, she had, it was white stuff all over her mouth. She looked like one of them kids. <laughs> It on hair. What is What's with you stuff? today? Okay, I'm sorry. Auntie? You ain't see all that. You ain't see all that. Lunell no. was funny. Too. And did you notice Melanie Camacho is not her name is not Melanie Camacho. She it's said her Col name. It's Comarcho or something. I never Com knew that. We've been saying I it wrong knew. all these years. I've been saying it wrong for the last 22 years. I've been saying Camacho. Uh -huh. I didn't know it was Comarcho. She never corrected anybody. Never corrected anybody. If you say Lisa Ray's name wrong, she will correct you right away. Absolutely. I'm sorry, Absolutely. Melanie. I didn't realize that unless she was drinking and messed up her own name. <laughs> <laughs> but we had um we had B Day. Who was that? Oh, that's B Flash's birthday. We had John right. Murray, who John, the, yeah, that was fun. John Murray is the new executive producer of uh, the Sherry Show coming up this September, and we mm -hmm. and he's known us both for a long, long time. And That's right. Craig Shoemaker, who who was instrumental in in uh, uh, not narrating, is it narrating, right. navigating art? What's that word? He, mitigating. He, he, mitigating. No, mitigating is when you take somebody to court, right? No. There was mitigation Craig there. Was it, he was he was helpful in mediating? <laughs> mediating. What am I navigating? <laughs> That's all right. It's been a long day. And, and Chris ain't no better. Mitigation. I, mitigation. You were you're thinking of lit, you're thinking of litigation. Mitigation <laughs> is mitigation <laughs> is what he did. I don't believe you. That's fair. It's your show. You. Happy one hundred. I think I think you're lying. Okay. So that was good. And who else did we have? Okay, we have Melanie B. It was so many Lunel, but a uh, Sybil, that was cute to see Sybil. It was it, you know, it was it was so fun to to for people to just I you know, I didn't realize, Kim, that doing a hundred episodes is a big deal. Like, that's a big deal that we put out a hundred episodes of two funny mamas. And like I think most people didn't think we were gonna make it this long. You heard Lunell. She said she stopped at sixty. Yeah, because she's on the she's on the World War Three tour, Cat Williams's tour, right. uh, and so she doesn't have time. She's always on the road. So the fact mm -hmm. that we have <laughs> we scraped together some time, and that's why it's been so unstructured. Uh, we tried to start it out. We did. We started out Mother's Day about two years ago, and we tried to have a structure. And Kim never seemed to cooperate. And I just let it, I let my bullet points go. Don't you agree? <laughs> Am I saying that pretty much? Okay, you did start off real structured. And I did. I did, I tried to follow along, but I couldn't take it. I, I couldn't take the control. I couldn't take the, and now we're going, and this was before you got your own talk show. So you needed that. Now that you got your own talk show, you don't give a damn. You let me sit home and do whatever. Oh my gosh. Maybe you was living your dream on this podcast. You was living your dream. And then they said, you know what, Sherry? We're going to make your dream a reality. And you, honey, you was like, go ahead, Cam. Say what you want. Smoke weed on the podcast. I don't care. I got a show. I can take all the structure to my show. Good luck, John Murray. Good luck. Oh my gosh. But no, it's it's like you so funny. It's kind of truish. Um <laughs> you look really pretty. You look really like um you look cute. Oh, thank you. I tried to be different for the hundredth podcast. I see you tried. Not. Um, but I get it. <laughs> <laughs> and people get on me because I mean to you. I bet you we won't get no comments of, oh, Kim, why are you so mean to Sherry? Why you throw shade in the form of a compliment? Those are all the comments I get when I talk about you. I got, I got our picture in the background. I got our picture. That's, so do I. You know. What oh, is that? Look at that? 
Tell them what that is. Look at this. Chris soap. Denman yep. sent a Two Funny Mamas live. Mid-coast media. Mid-coast media. These are our roses. Right. He sent me some, and I got it with your face looking at me. I was uncomfortable with that. That's well, your right. your face is looking at me. Huh? There's your face. <laughs> looking dead at me. That's why I, once I opened it up and saw what it was, I knew it was from Chris. I knew. I said, who would do that? And I Mid-Coast like, Media. <laughs> That's every. We really appreciate working with you all. Congratulations on a hundred episodes, and uh, I'm looking to look forward to at least three more. Well, then, while we take this time to really thank Mid Coast Media for being with us, did you say three? <laughs> <laughs> I look yeah. forward to starting a podcast with Kim in about two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, right around August. Right around. Yeah, August. right, 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 right. After the big announcement for June, yeah. She's gonna give it up. She's gonna lose her mind. Um, but I want to say, let's say thank you to Midcoast Media, all the engineers. Um, let's let's thank uh, the people that helped us. Uh, Ian all Grace. Friends. Yeah, if you if just a quick rundown, Logan's running the show today. Shout out to Logan, Grace, Key, all behind the scenes, all working hard. Ryan, uh, Andy's jumped on recently, but uh, yeah, so we have a great staff that uh, works really hard. And then shout out to John who does all your merch. And then Beth, who's a big, she handles a lot of your social stuff and uh, YouTube curation. So shout and out. And she also calls when that bill is not paid either. How do you know that, Sherry? Because I get the emails. <laughs> how do you, how would you ever know that? Uh, <laughs> and Beth is so cool because she'll send an email and she's like, hey, I don't know if you got my last six emails. <laughs> Um, no, she won't give you a number. She won't, that's horrible. She gives you a number. I mean, it is. She'll be like, maybe the check from uh, it'll be like, uh, let's say is 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 May now. She'll go, maybe that check from April 2020 came in the mail. We didn't get it. You think, oh man, that must be the mail. They suck, huh? <laughs> oh, she's funny. But she'll be like, yeah, maybe you tried to bundle those three past due payments together. But it didn't come, so maybe you should check it and make sure it went out. And I'm like, oh, shoot, I need to pay the bill. So shout out oh to Beth. Well, and then to you, to you all's side, shout out to, to Edie, and, uh, who works for Sherry, and then Siobhan, who we saw in the video. Shout out to her. She works hard. Everybody behind the scenes that uh, helps you out. I know Andre helps out a ton. I know uh, he's also part of your creative uh, team, all that good stuff. But you all have so many people that have helped and we've met so many people through you yes. all that help you all keep your stuff going. So big shout out to everybody on your side too. Thank you. Uh, Thank really you. a shout out to Siobhan and Edie because they're two very frustrated assistants. <laughs> they're both yeah. really, because they every each one of them, Siobhan will go to Kim. Simultaneously, Edie comes to me and goes, we need to have a team meeting. So we can really like, we want to, well, Siobhan and I have been talking and we want to plan out the podcast for the whole year. You know, we've been talking with, cause Chris be putting them up to it. It, it comes out, you know, because, uh, you know, we talked to Chris Thank and Chris is like, he said he would help in any way he can, you know, Thank facilitate you. this. And I say, yeah, that's that big word Chris always be using. Uh, yeah, that's Chris. Chris. And I said, when you go back to Chris and you tell Chris, we're not doing no 12 months in advance. Oh my goodness! I love it. You really don't know you've been talking to Siobhan and Edie. It's the only way I can get through to you. <laughs> no, it's true. They have been wonderful. This this whole thing has been wonderful. And today, our hundredth episode. This is really uh, a big day. We're going to be doing giveaways throughout the show, but at the end of the show, we got a big announcement. Why do I feel like I had to go to commercial right there? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it here. <laughs> You know, um, and we have Frida Payne. That's the name I couldn't read. I here, said you, it. Do you want me to? Oh, you here, said it. here, I'll give you a quick rundown of everybody that was in. So we started okay. with, we had, at the, so if you missed it, at the, at the beginning of the, uh, the live stream here, if you want to go back and see this, we had thank yous from Andre, or congratulations from Andre B Flat, C Mickey, Craig Shoemaker, David A. Arnold, Frida Payne, John. Lunell, Melanie Camacho, <laughs> Siobhan, 
<laughs> Sybil and then Guy Tory close it out. St. Louis uh, holding it down. That's pretty cool. Thank oh. you so much for that. I think Welcome. I got chicken breast. It's mm -hmm. a great episode already. Hello. You did. I ate some chicken and it fell down there. That's all. Oh, we have a question. I miss you. Oh, go ahead. I've not seen you in uh, a while because every time I come to town, you're not. You went out of town to be with Jill Scott for her birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, Phil Thornton, who is the head, he used to be the head of uh, yep. BMI, like the, the Urban Division or the Gospel Division. Mm -hmm. You went yep. to his birthday party in Atlanta and party with Tamar Braxton. I did. I a bunch did. of celebs. That and you're never home anymore. Well, uh, I'll be honest with you. I live my best life. Seeing that you're going to be a big old talk show host and all the celebrities going to be trying to hang out with you. I said, let me get mine in right now. <laughs> so I post pictures and see, I got friends too. That's what I did. I, I just want you to know I don't hang out with people. I've been in my hotel room all day. I know. What's so crazy is I didn't know you were doing Wendy this week. Until I saw you, I was like, oh, that's what she is. I didn't know. He was like, I'm in New York. I said, why is she in New York? Girl, I looked on that TV. Is, I was like, oh, that's why she in New York. She working. That's and you look funny. really cute. I like these little outfits. And I can tell you've been working out. You look very petite. Really? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can I tell you one thing? I'm, I'm so. You I'm coming into a Oompa Loompa, huh? No, mm -hmm. you, no, no, because you were working out today. When I called you, you were with the you were working out. I was working out today. You probably... and I'm very proud of you because working out is something that you don't typically do, and meeting so, a trainer uh, you don't do. And I'm glad it, that you are. <laughs> look, I, you are loving your body by working out. Why are you laughing? We all are. I, didn't get I said I'm loving my body, so somebody else will know. I said if you ever notice, Sherry, just take a time and take a second. Every time you do something, I run behind you and do it too. I was like, she ain't gonna beat me. <laughs> no, but I'm proud of you. About Wendy Williams. All of a sudden I was like, uh, I need to do Wendy Williams too. And now you start working on I was like, I need to get a trainer. Sherry's like, I'm gonna get my teeth bleached. I need one of those machines to bleach my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, uh, you are crazy. You do not. You just do what's good for you. I'm to me the working out. I'm glad that you are loving yourself and treating your body loving. Yeah. That's why I look at it. And I've I've been changing the way I speak because you know I don't like going to the gym and getting up at four in the morning, five in the morning. Um, but I I started saying last week, Kim. Oh my gosh, I get to go to the gym. Oh my gosh, I get to work out and treat my body better. Even though half the time the inner voice inside me is like, bitch, please, you don't even mean what you be saying. If you say it enough, you know how yes. we be talking about people who believe their own lies? Yes. And so I feel like if I say it enough, I will. And yesterday, this is where I'm really proud of myself. Yesterday, uh, uh, John and I went to this play, I don't know if you heard about it, with Jesse Williams from um, Grey's Anatomy. You remember Jesse? He's yes. in a play called Take Me Out and it's full frontal nudity in the Ooh. play. They take your cell phone so you can't take pictures. So I've seen Jesse Williams with no like no clothes on because it's full nudity. And um, what's the name of it so I can get tickets? All right. <laughs> okay. You have to, it's called Take Me Out. It's on Broadway. And literally they lock your phone up so you can't take pictures because Jesse Williams is naked, like front and back. And so um, everybody is, they come out naked. But after the play, yes, they do, girl. You gotta go see it's good. Um, after the play. <laughs> I've seen that same play in Amsterdam. With, with oh, Take Me Out? No, it was something else, was these little sex it houses. Was, you saw the red light special. That's what you saw. <laughs> she was really it, proud of, she was really proud of that Amsterdam pool, Sherry. No, was, this was really, when you come out here, I'm going to take you to see that in MJ. But okay. but Melba, who owns her soul food restaurant in Harlem, was having a birthday party at the bar. And I went to the bar and I got to drinking. She was giving me drinks. 
And you don't even I didn't get in until two this morning because I had had a couple drinks. I fell asleep with all the lights on, face down. I forgot to take my makeup off. My wig was on the floor. And I woke up at 5.15, so I only got three hours of sleep. And I laid there and I was like, yeah, I, you know, I got the perfect excuse. I'm a little hungover. I don't want to go. Kim, I said to myself, Sherry, how bad do you want this? And I went to the gym. I was 20 minutes late, but my trainer said, it's better that you're here 20 minutes late. So at least we can do something. And I worked out until for 40, almost 45 minutes. And I was you know, so well, happy when I finished. Very, when you finished. Yeah, yeah. Um, it does make you, you feel good. It does. But you have to say it and you got to set a time. Like if I just, there's two things. If you just say, you know what? I'm going to go to the gym today. I'm going to work out today. It doesn't mean anything. But if you say a time, I'm going to work out at 9 a.m. or 8 or whatever you say, 5. It really holds your mind, your body account accountable. And you know, at that time, I need to do that. And uh, yeah, this whole workout thing, I've started back on because, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I went to something last night and I saw a lot of my peers. I don't know if it's COVID, but a lot of them was going down. I called Andre. Well, I called Buddy, but I think I told Andre because he was talking about this. I was like, we got to hurry up. We got to hurry up and do some stuff. When I tell you that every there was on crutches, one person was on a walker, the other person's teeth was missing. I was like, what is happening? In the industry like, or your high school reunion? Uh, <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was good. Uh, both. Ooh. No, but it was industry. What kind of I, party were you at? It was it was a big, it was a film festival. It was a... Uh, it was I I O <laughs> Turner Classics. <laughs> okay, I'm not. Was that an in memoriam party? What? what? Let me tell you something. It just makes you go. You know what? Life keeps going, and we think we're the same. But when you see other people changing around you, you know you got to get the gym. You don't know what tomorrow promises. You don't know what you're gonna catch or get, or you know, Dan and Green was standing next to me talking about. I was in the hospital and I saw you on TV. I was like, what? He was like, yeah, when I had COVID, as I'm standing next to him without a mask on. So I was like, he said, Kim, that was a year ago. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I was like, wait, are those long-term symptoms? What's happening? But he, you know, you're just seeing people and uh, you're right, get, get into that gym and trying to stay strong is very important as light because people think it's for vanity it's really not it's for health it used to be for vanity when i was 20 30 but now that i'm 75 you know you <laughs> i'm trying to make no. it i'm trying to make it okay that's terrible i'm just trying to make it <laughs> damn kill no well here's the thing uh I keep saying on any live that I do, I'm, I'm trying to get to the place where working out is like something I look forward to. And really, when you work out, when you really start getting consistent about it, Kim, you will find that you feel better after you work out. It really does release that that hormone, the it endorphin, does. which is the feel good hormone. Oh, it releases it on me. You. No, sick. Is what? No, well, you know, I hadn't worked out in a long time. And I did that, and the endorphins released. The endorphins and the dolphins. Something released in my <laughs> mind. And I was sick for three days, and the doctor said, because you hadn't worked out in two years. <laughs> he said, that chemical released in your body and took you down. Girl, I was it was out. like an overdose of no, It was. I was like, I don't know what this is. Everybody's like, you, you got COVID? I said, no, I checked. But he said it was the endorphins because I hadn't worked out in so long. And I, I worked out and I then the next day I did Pilates. Like I was like, I'm going to be Sherry right now. But yeah, that was too much. So you so, overdose on endorphins. Disclaimer. Yeah, tell everybody when they're watching your Instagram, it ain't the truth. Tell them that you started long time ago, a little, you slow, you didn't just jump in and start pushing tires. This was no, a workup. Yes. So it was it was because COVID started and we couldn't go to the gym anymore, and right. literally, uh, I was getting I, I was getting real depressed, 
And I didn't realize, and even when I fractured my toe and didn't go to the gym, I was getting depressed. And I couldn't realize where's this depression coming from? And mm -hmm. somebody said, because you don't have those endorphins running through your body like you have yep. when you worked out. So a lot of times also when I go work out, I think about, you know what, Sherry, this is good. you're going to feel better. Like not right now, but you're going to feel better. So uh, I'm so excited for you that you are working out, that you are taking control of your health. Because me and you, uh, we're not going to be on the walkers. Right. We, well, Look, I, you still have uh, a son who is depending on right. you. I still have a son. I got to get strong. And, and, and not only that, you know, uh, I think about when, when I go to work out, I have to go work. I'm like, Kim, it's 30 minutes. It's an hour workout, whatever it is. It really is that. I do either a 30 minute hard workout or an hour workout, but I can talk on the phone longer than that. So I'm like, it's a part of your day. Get it in. Be done with it. I have said it in my mind that that's it. You do it and you go. Now, the, my hardest problem is when I'm out of town that yeah. I have to motivate myself. I ain't gonna lie to you. I walked past the gym twice in Atlanta and I didn't say get up and go and do it that morning and get it out the way. I let the day come and I never got there. And then I felt bad and I, and I lived with that. And I was like, Kim, let it go. But that's the thing to commit even when you're away. And I used to when I had this competition, but you know what, can I say something? It looked like you fell asleep on your face. Where are your eyelashes? Oh, there! I I forgot that I was doing a podcast. I'm and sorry. I took them off, and I don't have it. Look, I don't have my own makeup. They do me on Wendy, and so I don't have eyelash glue. So, and, and here's the thing: nobody gonna make a comment that you are shading me nonstop. Nobody's gonna say nothing. But if I said to you, "Oh, Kim, where your lashes? Oh, Kim." If Chris, am I telling the truth? I, I was just going to say, you know, it was really bothering me how much Kim has been attacking you so far, Sherry. I'm but sorry. She looks so pretty, but she looks so pretty. But I did look and I was like, because you got the biggest eyeballs on earth. Okay. That's not a shade. She just got. That is a shade. <laughs> is it? That are is you sure? not a shade. That's like you know, the... <laughs> your, eyes, your eyes are huge. I told you that. Stop bucking them. It scares me. Your eyes, see, she is shading me. Four times. She just said your physical appearance scared her. No, I don't have a large vocabulary, so I have to just use regular words. <laughs> Bucket. <Basic. Basic words. laughs> okay, I'm sorry. This is a hundred no, episodes. So here's the thing that people don't realize. You don't bother me. You make me laugh. I'm only pointing it out. Because the moment I say you bucking, your eyes is huge. You look pretty. You look pretty. Everybody, all the comments gonna be like, Sherry's throwing shade. Sherry, I don't like the way Sherry be treating Kim. I, Sherry be, you know, Sherry always taking over. Sherry don't let Kim talk. That's Sherry, 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 Sherry. That's a little typing. That's a little typing. Yeah, yeah that's, that's me. That's me being one of the fans typing. Is that how they type? <laughs> right. Uh, Oh God, that is great. And y'all know okay. y'all do it. Everybody get on me because they say you shake him, but nobody says anything. And, but it, but this is the thing: it never bothers you when I say something about you, and it never bothers me because we've been friends so long. Friends so long, but that's why we doing this podcast. We've been friends and talking and being foolish for so long. We figured we share it with the world. Well, Sherry, <laughs> I'm private. Well, Sherry, you are not private. You've never been I'm, private. I'm a little more you private than you. You ain't private. You show the world everything. Nothing I private do. about that shirt. Nothing private about that shirt. You know why? Your credit was, cards. You, know, you got that credit card slide. <laughs> that's what you call. That's what you call old age. Ain't nothing. Spicy. Old age. Old yeah, age. Well, You're a star. Age. Okay, first of all, Kim, this is what I'm gonna need you to do. I'm gonna need you to change your entire vocabulary okay, about the way on. you describe yourself. First of all, who you been with, Iyanla? You done been with somebody, you wasn't talking all this gang gang two weeks ago. She done had some kind of psychic reading. She done had some kind of woo woo. She done been with a preacher. And somebody said to Sherry Shepherd, your words 
have meaning. Your words manifest. <laughs> you know who it is? <laughs> it's Steve Harvey. Every time I'm on Instagram, <laughs> his audio. Because you got to know that your blessings is coming. Don't let everybody know what's going on with your life. You want to drop some friends. Change the way you manifest talking to yourself. It's always Steve Harvey. So he done got you. Steve you Harvey right? Is on my brain. Words I are... lost 22 million, but I got it back because I learned to live the life that I'm good. Everybody ain't gonna be able to go with you when you go to the next well, level. I heard you that sermon. Let people go. Yep, I heard that one. I heard that. Steve one. Harvey is like, that's my Ayala. I can't get away yeah. from Steve. Steve be telling the truth though. You're right, <laughs> but manifestation. Okay, I'm sorry. I have such young perky breast. <laughs> Change your face. Fix your face. There you go. I'm so Those young are your and... best friends, those girls. Let me tell you something. They're getting heavy, and I don't like weight. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you got to cut your weight. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. When I first met you, all of the guys used to talk about how you came in the room, how your boobs came in the room first. <laughs> Everybody loved when you hosted the Ha Ha Cafe with Buddy Lewis. You used to wear these tight jersey dresses, and they had and they were they were buttoned and it was so fitted across your boobs. Every dog on comic used to lose their mind. All the athletes would be coming. You had so many people packed. How dare you talk about the girls that made you who you are? The girls that made sure they got all the attention. The girls that made sure you had the good seats. The girls that got you on the good date. You do you degrade them now? You disrespect them now? Boy, they get they gave you great service. They did, but they won't look me in the eye anymore. <laughs> she done fell off that! Oh, Jesus! Oh, when I tell you, y'all don't know about no Kim Whitley. Y'all don't know about no Kim. This is unscripted brilliance. I said you are disrespecting your breasts. They are your best friends. They have done well by you. And this heifer says, but they don't look me in the eye no more. Mm. You can't <laughs> write that you, kind of She understand, women understand the gravity. I, I appreciate you on that one. So wait a minute, Sherry, I'm gonna ask you a question. What's the most surprising thing that happened since we started the uh, show? Like, do you, you know, we've had a whole pandemic happen um like what what are things that we, now our careers have you know gone in different directions but what do you think it was the most surprising or anything you can remember or the thing for I, two I, funny mamas yeah or fun or or even in just just in general in these last two years you know two things that i'm really not so much a surprise that i'm really just genuinely uh in awe of was well, three number one that we've done this podcast for so long because so many people doing podcasts you don't hear about their podcast no more they make a big splash and then their podcast is gone and uh didn't realize how and not complaining because we love it and we love mm -hmm. our fans i didn't realize how how hard it would be and if it you know and again a thank you to chris because he has been very instrumental and us keeping the podcast together and keeping it going. Chris damn near, he'd be so, Chris be so despondent because we'd be like, we can't do it, Chris. And he's like, but the sh we got to put out an episode on Thursday and we get yeah. cantankerous and we get mad and we, and Chris be like, can I just, it, maybe I could get a guest. I know a girl from, from uh, Israel and she's a comic. <laughs> And I put the girl oh from Israel on Two Funny Mamas. And then I'm going What's off because I don't know you? the girl from Israel. And I don't want nobody I don't know. And Chris was like, okay, uh, all right. Maybe I could do it. And then Grace and Keel come in and start dancing. <laughs> and then they stop put out a show, guys. Come on. And, and I, I said, go, I'm not doing this show. Yep. 
And I'll go put out the best of the funny moms. He's like, no, but they need you. Okay, uh, uh, well, maybe my mom, if I could get my mom on the show and she can guest host and then I'll come in and do it. And then the girl from Israel will use her in the last three minutes. But we got to put out a show, guys. Maybe that I'll call him. Shabbat and eat. That is him. That is him. Chris, <laughs> can I tell you? When I have to say as as mean as I am to Chris, y'all ain't lying when y'all be like, why she is so mean to Chris? Why she always talking to Chris? That's true. Um, That's true. You know, Chris calls us all the time. He knows we're busy. He's like, hey, what you doing out there? <laughs> I'll be like, what do you want? He's like, well, I just wanted to make sure we were doing the podcast today. And I'm like, what? He's like, I sent you 19 emails. Uh, I'm trying to get right. to Kim. She doesn't call me back. <laughs> We're supposed to go on five minutes. Kim, you know where Kim is? And so Chris at Mid Coast Media, let me tell y'all. Y'all, y'all yeah. just hear his voice. And when he's that, that thing. Sherry? Sherry? Did you Sherry? Oh my God. That emphysema laugh. Mm. But emphysema! Um, <laughs> But let me tell you something about Chris Midcoast Media. Chris oh, is so amazing. God. He has been amazing for two years, yes. helping us out. A ton of stuff he doesn't even charge us for because he really believes in the podcast. And yeah. I don't know how many times we have promised Chris that we're going to do a, a show in St. Louis. And we, you know, Chris will book the venue. He'll have the cameras ready. I'll he write the show. Them. I'll write the show. I'll do all the tech. <laughs> them tight I'll pants. get it sponsored. <laughs> I'll provide the meat. You jumped in on that one, didn't you? Chris is like, you know, and we just don't, like, we'll be like, we'll call the day before and go, look, Chris, we can't fly out to St. Louis. So you're going to have to camp. We got a movie. We, we got a, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris will have like candles waiting for Kim. Chris will have candles, champagne flutes, wine, because he that for that day he'd been fantasizing about him Chris. and Kim. Kim will call five hours before and go, look, it's snowing in Cleveland, so I can't make it to St. Louis. <laughs> Chris, don't worry. We we gonna we gonna get together one day. Oh, it's 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 gonna be on yeah a couple people saying for chris to come on screen uh i think andre's over at kim so maybe we'll see him but i'm thinking we just go with kim and sherry today that's that's the good feel right i, I like we that. just want to thank you know, i have a, i have a, our first giveaway though oh, I do what? Like that. Uh, kim whitley oh Look my gosh you prepped your oh my good for you all right no, well, first giveaway. our first giveaway um so i picked some random names from the you know, the comments that y'all been doing right now. Um, uh, our first random giveaway is a Two Funny Mamas t-shirt and bag. And I just went through the comments and I just grabbed the name. And the name is Denise Hightower. Oh, Yay! Nice. What do they win? She is going, Denise Hightower has won a Two Funny Mamas t-shirt and a tote bag. So please, Denise Hightower, Email Chris. Chris, Chris email. I'll put it in the live chat. Chris at midcoast.media. We got a couple more random giveaways to do. Uh, so be sure to tune in and get more people in here. Maybe we'll get 2,000 people watching. We're almost at 1,300 right now. So. Oh, this is great. Another thing, may I? Are you done the giveaway? Because I don't want to interrupt you. Yep, that's that giveaway. The, the other thing with thanking Chris is we were able to gift a teacher her entire classroom with headphones during the quarantine or uh, during the pandemic, yes. remember? I remember and that. We, we And they, she sent us a very beautiful picture of all of the kids wearing the headphones. We were able to gift a teacher with supplies, uh, yep. give someone with a computer. We went and got the, you know, we yep. went and got the computer for the lady us. Yep. Um, we and were able to gift a, a, wig, a woman who had gone through chemo with a wig, it took us nine months to get it to her. That was my you, fault. I used to hear a wig and she sent us a picture and she looked fantastic. And she looked fantastic. Um, we have been able to umbrella a B Flats podcast and she's got followers, which is so great. So I'm really, I, that I'm, I'm thankful for that, that we've been able to do that. But I was just blown away, Kim, by the fans getting us that NAACP Image Award. Yes. 
That right yeah. there. People that think we paid folks and we didn't. That was no. like, we didn't do nothing. That was the fans. And it was some serious competition. You know, this wasn't no like, oh, nobody knew those people. That was some serious competition. And our fans uh, stood up, stood out, and voted and got us, all of us, a NAACP Image Award, which should be coming in the mail any day now. <laughs> we still ain't got that award. Yeah, what's going when on I with that? When I tell you, these, I'm... No, nothing. <laughs> Yeah. And that was another thing. All the all of our all of our fans were so upset with me because you know they asked you to come down to, to pick up uh, to us to pick up the award personally, and I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do the glam, and so you went down there by yourself, and everybody was so mad at me because I wasn't being grateful. But so, I I don't know. You went Stop down there by yourself, and they had you stand in front of a different award and take the picture. They didn't have it. Let's just say what it was. They whispered. They was like. You know, we don't have that award. We're going to say, you know, that same thing happened to me in college. I got an award. Uh, my major was art. And i never forget, I went up there to get my diploma. And my parents was waving. And they said, oh, oh, and I got that. Then they said, Kim Whitley, Distinguished uh, Such and Such Artist Award. This is at Fisk University. I went up there. I was like, oh, my God, I won that award. I can't believe it. I go up in front of, the whole, you know, the whole graduating class. And I go get my award. I'll never forget the president. <laughs> Bent down and said, we don't have the award ready, but this is, <laughs> I swear, he said, this is one of the plaques off the pew in the chapel. Just give it back to <laughs> That was my first job in acting. I was like, thank you. Yay. Oh he my said, God. The plaques off the pew from the chapel. Just make sure you return. That is hysterical. Well, when we get our, we're going to share that NAACP Image Award. Chris, I don't know. He'll probably get his before we get ours. Won't that be but the way? That's the way it'll work. Won't that be the way that it, the NAACP Image Award goes to Chris first? But thank you, fans, for it goes in. How many pieces of chicken can you hold down? I said I'm going to stop I mean, eating the chicken. It, that's not even a buffalo wing. That's a full. Because you started me on this chicken. Remember you brought it over? And I started eating that way. But I'm going to put it up. I am. I'm going to put it up. After you finish it. Mm -mm. That was the last piece. It, know, uh, I, don't want, I don't want my fans to think that I am being disrespectful or greedy. They already do. What are you talking? No, you know what? With you, they don't mind. They be laughing when you eat. When I eat, they go, Sherry's so hypocritical. She get on camp. Um, one last thing, and I'm gonna let you do it. What you remember is we have done more stand up together. We yes. did a live stream as two funny mamas. And literally, I believe we didn't we have something like almost 20,000 or 12,000. How many people do we have in a room? We made we done made some nice money. Yeah, we've, we've done well. When we and, had that live, first live stream. Yeah, when we when we did a, a couple of the improvs, we sold out. It was a cool. lot of two funny mamas fans, and I'm gonna tell you on the Kim and Babyface tour, people be oh. shouting, "We love two funny mamas, Kim Whitley." Oh, all the time. So it's really very cool. Um, just our fans from all over. We've been getting, you know, remember we got a comment from someone in China. He fell off his bike listening to us in China. And we wanted to send some, but Chris was like, uh, Two Funny Mamas merchandise don't go to China. So it we couldn't get him. <laughs> and uh, so those are the three things that just I'm in awe of. And uh, what a blessing. What about you? Um, you know what? Mine are all uh, the same as you, but I think that live, when we did that show, I loved it. I love when we did the other show at Relativity or whatever, wherever we did out in, um, I don't even remember what place. Uh, but I love when we've done our stand up together. I think Two Funny Mamas has really uh, branded us um, as funny mothers. And I just love that people have embraced it. 
But I, I really like that. Um, I, I love that uh, we have a platform that we can really talk about anything and that people listen to us. And we have a platform where we give advice, but we also give our opinion, which is important. Um, but I, I think that's it. I just, I'm so happy that uh, you convinced me that uh, you wanted to do this and that you would never leave this podcast, even if you got a talk show. I mean, <laughs> did I, what? Was something I funny? don't remember saying that. I don't remember no, saying that. I remember in the beginning, and I, I, I said I was going to get it in writing, but I remember you saying, Kim, this was a passion project, and I will never build something with you and leave you like David Arnold. Um, you got a so, lot of issues about people leaving you. I noticed you that. Know, because I don't like people taking my time and building something. And then they're like, oh, maybe I got something better or I got to do something. Poo poo on your time. Poo poo on your creativity. You know, I like when people appreciate me, build together. But if we come to an agreement and say, you know what, it's time to let it go. And that's great. I mean, why are you I'm talking like that? Like you're gonna kill somebody. Why are you talking like that? Who else? I'm trying to think. I was about to say David Arnold ain't the only one. I had some more. Buddy. But no, no, I did it to Buddy. Cause I left. <laughs> so that's the, why you bring that up. Damn. Cause I left Buddy for David Arnold. Yeah, you are right. I did it to somebody too. Okay. <laughs> All right, change the conversation. Oh, let me show you something. I got a surprise for you, and yours is coming in the mail. Look at that. What does that say? Two <gasps> funny mamas. It's a oh, that's blink. Cute. And then look. Boom. She oh, that's all cute. Kim Whitley. Kim Whitley, like a signature, and two funny mamas, this beautiful cup. Uh, Everybody, I got it in Cleveland when I was doing the improv. A young lady came up to me. Chris, you're going to have to jump in. I don't have my glasses on. But it's called. You do like, have your glasses on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> the giant blue glasses. Here, let's yeah. let's see this. So we're supporting a black business like we always do. We've even got a graphic. Check it out, Logan. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, if you follow, if you want to go full screen on that, that's LaShonda, the blingologist. Check her yeah. out. She's got her phone number. I'm the best and I love it. She's obsessed with bling at yahoo.com, Instagram at she's obsessed with bling. At yeah. she's obsessed with bling. That's her business card and that's our uh, black business. And we have a surprise about this too, Kim. We sure do. Are we going to do the surprise? We're going to say the surprise now or later? Yeah, okay. we'll give somebody a custom, uh, a custom <gasps> blinged out mug with what's what? it worth? What's it worth, Kim? Oh, it's for it's it's two hundred dollars. <laughs> yes, two hundred dollars in value. Uh, we are going to buy uh, from a uh, she's so obsessed uh, with bling. Uh, we're going to buy them a two funny mamas cup, uh, and she'll make it for them. Or you know, it's two funny mamas, and we can put both our names on the back, um, and that'll go to uh, one of our listeners. Or if we're really good, we can just have her make them a custom cup, but I think it should say two funny mamas on No, it should say two funny mamas. <laughs> we can get, you can, uh, it's two funny mamas. Uh, and that's true. If we're going to pay that kind of money on it, you're absolutely right. So you going to see our names. At the end of the show, we are going to gift this cup. Uh, I absolutely oh love it. Oh my gosh. Isn't that gorgeous? This is so great. Yours is coming, I, but you're in New York. She, no, she already Mm -hmm. Look at me! I'm looking for something to give away all the way here in New York. You gave away uh -huh. T-shirts. We got we got an announcement at the end of the show. You're doing all kinds of good stuff, Sherry. Don't sweat it. This is really very very nice. That's another thing we got because we're gonna continue this show. We got to try to elevate it. Um, we we gotta get some more merchandise. <laughs> we oh. we've been asking for a merch meeting for eight months. <laughs> oh, we have. Oh, well, you didn't ask me, Siobhan. 
Kim, let's make that next week. Sorry, go ahead. Can we come out with some lip gloss or something? Or, or, or... What? Oh, yeah, we should. A lip gloss. Too Funny Mama lip gloss. That's kind of cute. If you want, I've got a couple comments from the live chat, which is just going oh, off. Oh, yeah, please hit us. Hit us. Absolutely. So from earlier in the chat, hopefully they're still here. The realest underscore ever. Chris, that's me. Can you have Kim congratulate my daughter pronounced air e on that's a i r dash e slash on so arion on joining the illustrious delta sigma theta sorority last week please it would mean a lot oh arion all right star raw congratulations arion see this is why when you're not a, a delta or you're not in the sorority you're not supposed to be doing their signs because i was like arion <laughs> that is the Illuminati. Mm -mm. <laughs> I thought that was Delta. Ariana. Because they tried to, we're going to try to get you in next year. Ewe still? Ewe still? Did you say, almost, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. You sound like a, a, a sick seal. Did you say, <laughs> wait, what? You done made your own sorority call. Why a seal? I thought that was Delta, but that's not. That is Illuminati. <laughs> yes. Ewe, oh, that ain't. You mixed up the AKs and the Deltas together. Okay. Oh I'm sorry. God. This is why. Right. Ariane, congratulations. I've been trying yes. to get an honorary Delta membership for probably <laughs> yes. the last 10 years. They've told me no. Kim has not come in to fight for me. I got to go to <laughs> Delta. <laughs> Kim don't be trying to say no. She like ashamed of me. We mm. did a gig and it was all the mothers of the Deltas. Look, Kim wouldn't say, I was by myself trying to get in the Deltas. I got you. No, I, I do. It, it was, it's your charity. You see her stuttering? It's your, it's yeah, your, that was, there was some delay your, there. Your charity list is not, um, mm. it's not impressive. I do, how much Here's charity? I, let me explain. I need you out there. <laughs> you know the people on the freeway in them orange jackets? <laughs> I got to clean trash on the freeway? Is that what you're gonna have me do? Hey, that's how we pledge you. We're going to pledge you because you, oh, you're you gonna jump her in. <laughs> no, we can't stop. She jump her in. I ain't trying to join the vice lords, Chris. <laughs> vice lords. How about? Okay, you know how old I am. I just wet my pants. You know oh, no. how old I am. <laughs> Oh, hey, no. they did like that. Go ahead, Chris, because we got to talk about the favorite moments that fans. Kimberly seen. Kimberly Keels says, Chris Deasy, can you please add a disclaimer to all of these videos, including B flats, tighten up Tuesday. Eat, drink during this show at your own risk. I almost just if I almost choke one more time. That's from Kimberly Keels. Oh, bring, Kimberly in, bring in the funny ladies. Thank you, Kimberly. We appreciate that. Every time we uh, uh, say we're gonna go structured, everybody goes no. We like it the way it is. Um, but we we have to, we got to change it up a little bit because we want to win another NAACP image or all these people like starting podcasts because they've seen us win and we've been getting the little shady comments from people. Yeah, you, oh, you won the podcast. I know I can win. Y'all ain't even got no real stuff. Y'all won. No, I can. <laughs> I don't know who y'all talk to him. You, you know, you paid. Woo! We getting the shadies. But we have to elevate it our second season. So henceforth, you ain't gonna see no more chicken. Well, I say that mm. until Kim cook another pan. Now what if, okay, money talks. What if we get like an organic chicken brand to, uh, to sponsor, like Kim, to sponsor yeah. Kim's snack breaks? No. Uh, girl, you tripping. That's a great idea. Yeah, why don't we call it Slaves Are Us? No, nope, sir. Not not where I was headed with that. Uh, <laughs> what if you two start a trend? What if like more famous white dudes team up with with other black comedian actresses? What if you do oh. that? Like what if Jason Siegel starts being like the third voice on some podcast with Seth Rogen? <laughs> Seth Rogen. With Lunell and Melanie. That's how they, they level up. They go they get the actually famous white guy. Oh gosh. Oh okay, my love, gosh. What else, Chris? What else? Read some more. People are waiting. Oh, we got all kinds of people commenting. Uh Retha Jones, tell these two that I just turned 60 last week. And oh, I just Reetha! started Retha! 
<laughs> happy birthday. And I just started going back to the gym last night. Five minutes on the treadmill. I nearly passed out. But that's a great start. Retha Jones is uh, a friend of ours. She's a comic yep. that we started yep. with. Retha. We were on tour together on Beauty Shop. You toured to with Retha on Beauty Shop at Retha Jones, y'all on Instagram. And Retha is so funny. And uh, she left the comedy world for a bit, and now she's back. She's hysterical yep. funny. Yep. And I believe she's 60. You know, it's so funny. Time, because my birthday is uh, Friday, and time just yep. goes by so fast. You look up. Remember, Kim, when we would That's go to the Ha Ha and we would stand outside with Angela Means? She played, uh, Angela Means played, who was she in Friday? Um, yeah, she, by, by, no, she was Felicia. You just said Felicia. she was by, by. Angela she, Means played crackhead Felicia in Friday. And so I'm like, bye, Sheila. No, it was by Felicia. Yeah, by um, Felicia. And Kim Whitley and me and Angela Means and a bunch of comics, we would fit. This is how young we were. We would yeah. finish the comedy clubs at about 10 o'clock, 11. And we would stand outside till really one in the morning acting stupid, being silly, being loud, laughing. Nothing. We got to go to work. Got something to do in the morning. And we never, we just, that's just what we did. And we would go do comedy every night. Um, and now you look up, you know, 28 years later, 20 years later, it's, and we're, we wouldn't stand outside past our spot on the stage. We'd be yawning. Yawning. <laughs> yep. I'm and everybody about, goes, you know, well, what time coffee. is it? We got to go to bed. Right. Bring me some coffee. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot. So, so this yeah. has been a journey. This has really, truly been an amazing journey. Um, really? Now, how much? Chris? So, go ahead, Kim. Keep going, Chris. Keep going with so the I, with the comments. I we love you, Risa. Afraid of Sherry. Nobody's Sherry. afraid. I'm trying to be polite today. It's uh, just today, though. Usually, I'll just talk over you, but uh, today is a special episode. So, just biting my tongue a little more than usual. <laughs> I'm gonna bite. Your tongue. You are. I'll take a. I'll take. I'll take a video of it. It'll be great. Uh, oh gosh. Shanti Wells loves the gym. Yvette Scott says young blood. <laughs> uh, Terrence says happy birthday, Sherry. Victoria Bronstein says bye, Felicia. Uh, happy birthday, happy early birthday, ladies. Yeah, Kim's is on the way. I have to take a nap to get ready for my shows tonight. Oh, that's Retha. Well, thanks for chatting. I'm Aretha. telling you, we at the age we got to take a nap. Yes. Uh, Patty, uh, Patty, Patty, seven, one, eight, Chris, when are we going to see you and Kim's infamous date? I'm ready for it. Y'all should do a live date for the viewers. Tell you what, maybe at the end of the show, we'll talk about an opportunity for that. I don't know. I don't know if Kim wants to film a one night stand. You really going to stream that one night stand. This is a, this is two years in the making. There's no one night stand. <laughs> All I want to do is hear Chris scream. That's it. What? One high pitch scream from Chris. <laughs> I'm satisfied. You know what Chris gonna My do? My work's done you, here. You know what Chris gonna do if you take him to that place? He gonna oh be like this. Oh no! <laughs> yes. Do it. Do it again. Do it again. Do it Stop again. It. <laughs> oh God! I can't, I can't take it. A tea. Oh, Chris. You know how you ladies. <laughs> Okay. You know how you yeah. ladies fake it for your fellas sometimes? You put on a little for them. Yes. That's what, yeah. my, that's what my screech is for you. It's to let you know you're, you're, oh, I gosh. appreciate the effort. So I, I, I oh, throw that gosh. screech laugh in for you. Wait, I wanted to ask Kim before you did another comment. <laughs> the screech. Um, so my birthday is coming up Friday. And Jeffrey. And, and you didn't ask me what I want for my, because I want something big for my birthday. Uh-oh. What's his name? What you want? No. <laughs> well, go ahead, Chris, with your nasty self. What you want? I didn't even think about uh, asking you for what you want. And, you know, Siobhan said, you know, Sherry's birthday's coming up Friday. I was like, yeah. I said, I said she ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey is. It's his birthday Friday, too. I just said that. I'm definitely going to get Jeffrey something. What you want for your birthday? She'll never want nothing. Listen. I want something big. 
What? I don't know. <laughs> so that doesn't make sense. Do you know? Well, when you people just... say that, Kim, I've already given you a clue. I said I want something big. So. Oh. So. No, so wait. I want something that costs big, a lot. I want big in my eyes or big in your eyes. We got two different it, price ranges. Oh, yeah, boy. in my eyes. <laughs> As you know, I can get you some big down to swap me. What <laughs> you? <laughs> I'm like you said you want something big. I'm coming in with a big ass giraffe or stuff. A yes. giraffe. Yes, yes. You'll buy me one of the big rope chains. You know where they pull no. the chain and then they cut it. I know what you want. Something. I know what she wants. What and Chris it? working on it. Chris, what I asked you today, I bet you that's a good gift. She doesn't know about that. Remember? Does she oh know about goodness. that? Remember when I oh texted you? Is it happening? And you said checking on it. Oh yeah, absolutely. She'll be excited about that. Yeah. Right. That's what you, that's what she would want. So hmm. maybe I'll have maybe I'll have an update by Friday. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay, there we go. And that would be my gift because I'm the one that started with well, me and Chris. Oh, thanks for. I'm going to uh, get you something really nice for your for your birthday. It's it's going to be really, really nice because I appreciate the fact that you stuck in there so much so that you don't even want to stop. Your behind doesn't want to stop. And I sure appreciate that. I wish we could go on the road and get like a tour. It's a little it's a little tiring. Uh, oh, 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 oh. We're the only ones that do podcasts and don't take a break. Everyone else takes a break. That is not true. Everybody else takes a break. We've been taking a break. You're dabbling in the wrong podcast world. The bigger These big podcasts do not take oh. breaks. Oh, really? Okay. Got it. What's the big podcast? No. We talking about Joe Rogan? Your friend? No. Who? You just said Joe Rogan? Okay, first of all, Joe Rogan don't take a break because he's making $28 million. Well, you're oh, on your no. way. He started, he, started out get, he started out getting high in his living room with two friends and no money. You guys started off way Joe ahead of that. He might not have been making money on that daggone podcast. But he sure right. making money now. Well, he had Fear Factor. You've got a TV show now. That's he true. sure did. And he had the, the MMA stuff. And he had a stand-up. Right. Oh, my God. He came right. to the comedy store a few weeks ago. It was packed. Well, really? Yeah. Um, well, Do you want Elvin. some comments? Congratulations. Yes. Go ahead, Kim. Sorry. No, I'm saying you said you wanted to read... Uh, the announcement comments from the clip show from last week. Did you want yes. To yes. We asked people to kind of let us know what they thought of the clip show and what they thought of you, your, their favorite hair, their favorite uh, outfits, different things like that. So we'll look back uh, from the last week. Carla Baptiste. This is what, this is my favorite because there's clips from all throughout the two years. Carla says, this is a theme by the way. I don't want you to call yourselves hoes. I like the title too funny mamas. Your show is funny and real. I like it. Carla's looking out for you. Do you remember the name of your first it, episode? Yeah. Yeah. We gonna call it Two Funny Holes? Was that what we gonna call it? No, keep okay. guessing though. This is fun. <laughs> was it broken? It had the word holes in it. It was holes without a border? Yes. <laughs> holes on the side? I can't remember it. Andre, Andre's here. Andre, everybody, there's a favorite. Hey, Andre's a favorite. Happy uh, 100 episode. What was the name of the? What sneak was sneak in there next to the twins. I'm I'm doing a crip walk for the 100th episode because I got my. Oh my god, what, are you so funny. Hey, Andre. Oh my gosh, Andre what are you doing? Who are you, Easy E? <laughs> Girl, I'm on the West Coast, so I'm back on the West, baby. Oh, oh my man. gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Now that look like muscle spasms in your head. Like, Andre, what, what was our name? I don't know. I wasn't on the first episode. It was. Uh, it was going to be. Hang on, I'm looking it up right now. It was two reformed hoes, I believe. Something yeah. like that. You made a. Uh, you had a bit about it. Oh. Yes, yeah, so you talked about it for two reformed hoes and great advice our moms gave us. Uh, yeah, that was at the very beginning. Put okay, I don't think we would have won an NAACP Image Award. Hey, you we never know. Have. Chris, next one. No, we wouldn't have. Uh, mm -hmm. Next one from the clip show. Uh, this uh -huh. is from A.G. Bessie, Ag Bessie. I love these clips. These two ladies always make me laugh. I sympathize with Sherry when she had her meltdown over Jeffrey and homeschooling. You can't change the name oh, now. Oh, that was... 
that you've won the NAACP Image Award? My vagina was lonely. <laughs> that was the, remember that rant? Yes. So I said Jeffrey Legendary. The dog trapped on the floor, and then Jeffrey didn't like me. That was during the, the quarantine. Remember Kim? And Let I said, and my up. vagina's lonely. Right. Okay. What was the next one? Cheryl. <laughs> I love this. Kim just is like, okay, here we go. Uh, this was great looking back. So hilarious. That's from Cheryl. Building an empire says, two funny mamas. You guys are silly funny. I'll be having a bad day. You guys just have me laughing. You guys are a hit. That's so nice. Olivia Redding, one of my favorite episodes is The Nasty Show. I just love the pure chaos that ensued after Kim asked that one question. The pure chaos? I don't even remember. The Nasty Show. No telling. Uh, I kind of remember. We've done so many. I kind of remember. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just I just glanced over this, these comments, and I see something that starts off. Now, this is the first of all. Let me say this as a disclaimer. This should be good. I'm not, and Sherry is not pulling these comments. Chris is pulling the <laughs> comments. We don't pull them. He pulled them. And why? Uh, Mo Johnson, first and foremost, good job to Chris and his team. Why, why you pull this one, Chris? Why you pull this? First one? of all, if you want to pull the if you want to pull the curtain back, pull it all the uh, way back. Let's talk uh, about what Chris does. Let's get let's talk about who what where, where those words uh, come from. Let's talk about those. Oh yes, let's gosh. do it. You know what? This was just a random chance pick. I just went through. I closed my eyes and I pointed at the comments, and I oh, happened yeah, to land on a couple. Okay. Chris is in the first, but then she says, Sherry and Kim, you ladies are so unique in your comedy, which makes this collaboration so special and so authentic. Look at that. Oh, that's now, a woman. I, I thought it was somebody being funny. What? what Hang on. Now, what about, now, Kim, go down on okay. the, uh, go down on the comments that you pulled and, uh, and check out Darletha Rhodes' comment. Do you see that one? Oh, yeah. Andre is candy for real eye candy for real for real <laughs> look at him look at him <laughs> look at that look at <laughs> Sherry said, that's look my at michael that. jackson moment you messed mm -hmm. it up why you say that like that sherry <laughs> i know i'm like look at that look go ahead andre but see andre doing stuff he's teasing women and he's not gonna fulfill nothing no, we are going to do a date with Andre. Ah, 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 Kim, really? <laughs> we not? We Alicia B. Alicia B.'s favorite moment was when oh, Sherry, when, okay. when Alicia okay. B.'s when Sherry had a had one of Lunell's edibles. That was one of her favorite moments. You remember that, Sherry? Oh my gosh! Allegedly, oh, I think I think Sherry just was tired and and had some regular oh, gummy yeah. bears. Yeah. Wait a minute. What about the one that was says? I've been watching, uh, Willetta Riggs says, I've been watching since day one. I must say, I have laughed so much. I love the fact that this has, this is grown folks. Uh, thanks for the laughs, ladies. Oh, it is grown great. folks. We had one 11 year old fan. I think, I don't know where we lost her along the way. When you peed on yourself. Hilarious. I, because if I look at this other sheet that Chris put together, <laughs> now check out uh, no, favorite or moments fans love sherry peeing in her seat <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth it gets brought up a lot i need to really get a commercial i need to get a point that was funny I, I just like crash that shit was funny hey fans what about love, right? Get down. i'm gonna tell him at the uh at the the wendy show which is gonna be uh, you know uh, my new show we need to look for that endorsement Put a, and put a padding we in your seat. We need to clip to them. Maybe we'll two funny mamas pad. can get a. Maybe two funny mamas can get a depends or pad commercial kill. <laughs> that would be you, so funny. It'd be horrible. We both sit there. Did you pee on yourself again? Did you pee on yourself again? Do a can I? Thing. Can I play the clerk at the drugstore? Oh, oh yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Andre plays Everybody the doctor that suggests them. In. If you're just now Take tuning away. in, Take it's a hundred episodes, people. If you're just now tuning in, hundred episodes of the Emmy nominated, the NWA no. for winning <laughs> Emmy nominated. nominated. Hey, hey, oh, you know what? I was gonna say we didn't even mention, and this is also due to Chris. 
our two red paper plate episodes. Our first red paper ep uh, plate episode was The Entanglement, and that has had over 100,000 views. Double that. Oh, 200,000 views? 200, 230,000 views right now. 200,000 views on our very first red paper plate episode. And then we had recently had another red paper plate episode about the Oscar slap, which got a lot of views. That was with George Wallace. 73,000. 73,000 views and oh, whole flood. We need to, we got to do some more red paper plate episodes. Why weren't you on that episode, Sherry? Oh, okay. She hmm. was busy. Uh, if you want to keep <laughs> reading some comments, Marsha T, I can't decide. This is, a, this is a, from last week's clip show. Marsha T, I can't decide which episodes are my favorite. So I'm, I am and will say all of them. Just can't decide. I rewatched when I need a good laugh and just spending time with me, my me time. Thank you. That's oh. about as nice a thing somebody could say. Well, that's a nice comment. We really that appreciate that comment because we want people to feel better. That was always our mission for Two Funny Mamas. We always wanted people to feel better than when they came. And yes. Uh, yes. it was during the quarantine and a lot of people like essential workers would go on the car. That's really what kind of what kept us going. People would tell us I'm a nurse or, uh, you know, um, and I will go down and listen to you on my break and people are, are looking at me because I'm laughing out loud. Please don't stop. And that is really what kept us going, making Two Funny Mamas. Sherry, thank you, Sherry and Kim. You're on episode 100. You've had all these great co-hosts, guests, black businesses, all kinds of awesome stuff. But looking back at that first episode, two reformed hoes and great advice our moms gave us had 45,000 views. Right? That's amazing. Number one. Here's three comments from that show. Um, Jackie Jacqueline Pio. I wonder if she still uh, listens. Was disappointed. Hope the podcast gets better. <laughs> Oh, oh, y'all! Yeah, we got better. From y'all, is it me? I've always loved you two. You two's friendship. The podcast is great. Like, think about how cool that is. You see two of your favorites starting a podcast, and you get to meet all kinds of neat people. Christina Jenkins, I had some good hard laughs watching you two. So needed. I feel the joy, pain of quarantine, and of an only child. She is a little cutie in my profile picture, but she is a tweeny. She is a tween with hormones messing with her. A lot of people relating at the beginning. Remember that? Yes. I yes. want to say that for me, being a fly on the wall, watching you all. Sexy fly on the only, wall. Uh, not, <laughs> <laughs> not only watching the podcast grow, but watching you all's careers take off. Oh. It, it's been inspirational I, I i i mean well said to know how sherry really wanted a talk show yeah. and to see it come to fruition and how busy you stay i had to step my game up that's right oh tell them then well since you're talking about it tell them what you did since you brought it up look at this what is that that's 16th productions uh we have a production company Hey, look at that. I Who has a production company? The weakest link. <laughs> yeah. Who has it's a production company? Him and these dudes with money. And I said, I want to be the only girl. I don't want no other women in this. I was like, I'll come on board. But this is the rules. All the dudes and then me. Yeah. So she said, Sherry, Sherry, didn't, Sherry didn't know you were doing this? No. Oh, he really got Congratulations. The number six, teenth, T E N T H, productions with S.com, 16 productions.com. And what is this production company going to be doing? Amateur. Born and documentary. Because you're right, because Andre is friends with Mr. Marcus, right? And no, Lexington's still. And, and Lexington's still. No, and but Lexington. me being a part of it. No. Hey, hey Andre. Oh, Kim, go ahead. Sorry. No, we're doing documentaries first and then uh, going into some projects, uh, yeah, you know, we, we shooting got, stuff. We can so shoot whatever cool. you need. So that's what's fun about that. I well, was excited. Now, the, hey. And the closet isn't done yet, is it? Yes, Kim's closet is ready. Is it live? Yes, it is. 
What well, I tell the people? I've been busy. I've been telling yeah, you. Yeah, you've been, been, been busy. He built my closet that's online. Kimscloset.com. Check it out. All the clothes I don't want. And, and it's Sherry's. an opportunity for people to take part in not only developing the content because the pro partial proceeds go to 16 production. So right. you all, when you your purchases go towards us creating content. So all the clothes, really, like the clothes that I've worn on different TV shows, uh, put celebrity on memorabilia. Celebrity memorabilia. Yeah, I'm a and fan. The less Kimscloset.com. K Y M. Yeah. Kim, Kimscloset.com. Um, Andre. So yes. what was the first part? You said documentaries and then amateur what? Were you going to start? No, it wasn't amateur. <laughs> amateur what? Well, hey, big news. Yeah, you started in the, you started in the first one. It's called well, Yellow. Meet my, meet my co-host. We've got a surprise guest. She's the star of the first ever amateur film that being produced by 16th Productions. A surprise guest. She's got a big movie oh coming up. Whoa. What yeah. are you doing? Wait a minute. I have the phone on the ceiling. It's all you do. <laughs> I have the phone on the ceiling and I'm lying down. I actually am here for the audition because luckily Sherry will be too busy to do the podcast. And I just. <laughs> what? Is that too soon? <laughs> She's so busy. Even though I congratulate her on getting her own talk show, and she's literally never texted me back. Even though I said congratulations, even though perhaps full circle you were on my talk show, you now have a talk show. I was on your talk show, so yes, I will co-host. <laughs> yes. Let me tell you something. Caroline would I have this. I got the I'm sorry, it's a bad connection. One of you is supposed to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline, you'll see quickly. You should probably just connect with me if you want to get anything done on this. Uh, oh, also, I'd like to connect with you, Mr. Podcast Producer. I think we'd all like to connect with you. Okay. <laughs> We're oh, all married to Andre. So very 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 what I was going to say. You know that, Sherry, when you said you were getting married on your show, I was like, Sherry's getting married. And then you're like, nah, I have a talk show. That was the most hilarious. <laughs> I believed you. I didn't, you know, you know I have to say, hair, Caroline. Your hair looks so cute, Caroline. Your hair is so pretty. You look really, you really cute, so Caroline. Thank you. It's the kind of hair that you press your navel and it comes out. You guys wouldn't be familiar with that. Kind of <laughs> Did you just say a Chrissy doll? The Chrissy yes, doll. It's a Chrissy doll. Oh it's God. a Chrissy doll. I'm a Chrissy doll. So many people, when they put their favorite people to come in and uh, guess, uh, it's you. You are like at the top. Absolutely. Well, that's so nice because you'll be exhausted with the time change. And I understand. <laughs> and I'm just grateful. And I've prepared a small acceptance speech, which I'll save for another time. Perhaps the 101st episode could be that whole speech. <laughs> I don't know. But <laughs> Kim, I mean, Kim. Between you this, and then you're going to be doing so much more stand up, Sherry. And I understand. So, yes. <laughs> I agree. Oh Have you been watching okay. that insane trial? Amber Heard is. What's happening? Have you watched that trial with Johnny Depp? No. I've seen it. I kind of saw it on the news a little bit, uh, but I have not watched it. It's this. It's like, it's like crazy face. Like, <laughs> oh, I, you know, it's, it's so interesting with this trial with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Of, it's been so expensive. The allegations on both sides are like, I'm like, who is lying and who's not lying? I believe it's, him. I think she seems a little crazy for Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and wants right. some more money. You know what's crazy for Cuckoo Puffs during a national talk show and then a podcast on the side? That is crazy for Cuckoo Puffs. <laughs> I will hey, hey, you. hey, Kayla. Hey, you. You, godmother to my child. Yes, you. Don't get her, give her any ideas because she's trying to creep out of this podcast. <laughs> she's getting slippery. Why she's don't getting... you do a reality show based on your village and your real best friends? And I'll guess once every four years. Or why don't you do a podcast <laughs> with each other? Funny mama? Am I invisible? <laughs> so, um. <laughs> That's the conversation you need to have with Caroline. I feel like there's some deep seated <laughs> issues. What are you talking about? I'm totally fine with replacing you. 
I replaced Rosie <laughs> that went really well, and I have no problem with this either. Kim, <laughs> do you yes. want to? If you want a podcast under. 49 minutes. I think Caroline would make that happen every single week. There's no way. He would. Are you kidding? Kim and I would be distracted by the first question and the, and it would be like two hours and be like, I thought you had the guest. No, you had the guest. I thought you had the questions. What are we talking about? Is that a wig? No, it's extensions. Is that a wig? No, I mean, but it will be enjoyable for other people like us, which would be Other us. people like us. <laughs> oh my God. I'll it shut was... up, but I got to ask Caroline, uh, are you yes, always? Yes, I will go out with you, and I will replace. What else? What First else? of all, <laughs> Kim, <laughs> Kim, did you, Kim? Younger do you remember? Man, fine, not a problem. I sent you. I sent you a, a a podcast that I listened to. That Caroline was one of the best guests I've heard in the last year, two years. I've listened to this podcast for ten years. Uh, did you hear her on Mark Maron's podcast? Oh yes. no, I love Mark Maron. Why? Okay, why was it so good? All we were doing was talking about the past. You just sat there and just blatantly talked about how you guys used to hook up. Like, it, you didn't care at all. Everyone should be so free. Oh. Well, you know what? It, it was so long ago. <laughs> and she's like, did I hook up with you? You know, I want to say to these young girls that, like, their hearts are broken. I'm like, you will walk by that man one day and go, he looks so from Did I? Really? No, I can't remember. <laughs> um, uh, you and Mark Marin hooked up? Thanks a lot for this segue. Um, <laughs> We're like the two million and third person to hear this. Is that it? Oh! Yes. Oh! Yes. No, that like, is not his picture. For like, he for about 10 look, years. He didn't always look like that. Yeah, for about 10 years on and off. He looks great. He, he, oh, he's he's, not, no, he you know. looks good for his he age. Does. He looks yeah. Jerry oh, Shepard, he looks good around. for his age. Has anyone, that's like saying, you're so pretty for a wild beast. That you can't <laughs> add before your age. Like you're either, no, Mark you Mary. look good or you're like, well, what if okay. somebody, would, can, let's not forget that I was ghosted by a man in his seventies that I'm hoping <laughs> was actually so old, actually died and became a ghost. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I want that message on my machine. Ooh. See, I told you he called. <laughs> All right, you have millions of guests. Sherry, I'm so happy for you. Are you so happy? Are you already moved to New York? Yeah, I'm looking for a place in New York. I am. I'm looking for a school for Jeffrey, uh, trying to figure out the subway system. And it's in yeah, I'm excited. You're going to call me for my, dog. my friend. My friend, it's like she'll she places kids in schools all the time. So you're, I will help help you. I need. And I, I know exactly call you when where. We're done. I'll uh -huh. give you her number and I'll, I'll tell you you're calling. Yeah, I want Kim to. I'm having a problem because Lexi is so big and she's not a New York dog. She's on the aggressive dog list. Thank God we're talking about a dog because I was like, someone is being very unkind again. Lexi is so big. I don't know if she's it, how she's ever going to get a man. Like, oh, <laughs> I wanted to ask Kim to watch her, but Kim is going to put her in the backyard and that's it. So I can't, I'm going to bring her with me. And we're right. now looking for a place that will accept I a, a, the big, dog. huge dog. Just in the well, day. I was hoping to get a spot because uh, when I was dealing with my dad, I was trying to work it out to get her because I was going to ask you, I, I was gonna tell you I take Lexi, but I didn't get the spot, so sorry. That was I appreciate you were going to do it. That's I'm like not going to take Lexi, I nor am I going to offer that because I want you to be busy all the time. So when you're not oh. doing the talk show, stand up and touring, you're going to have to walk that horse five or six times a day. So yes, I will replace you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I love you, girls. Oh, we love you. Beautiful, love you, Caroline. You look beautiful. Do. Thanks, baby oh, girl. Did she have the phone attached to the ceiling? I have to get down now. It's for the video shoot. <laughs> it's for the video shoot. I have to get That's down. a porno angle with the camera. That is hilarious, Caroline. I've never seen a porn in my life, so I doubt it very much. But I did write a show business book called I Ate All My Prop Food, which I will make into a film. <laughs> I was in that book. You were in that book. You were delicious and you were chapter seven. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, girls. Oh, oh my gosh. Amazing. Caroline Ray's the best. Look at that. The what a surprise. Is.
Oh, that was a good surprise. Comments were going good. wild, by the way. We love oh, Caroline Red. Literally, she's one of the top uh, requests to to sit with you on the podcast. Except I am afraid, like Caroline said, the last time y'all did a podcast together, Caroline kept going, Kim, look at me. Kim, stop eating. Kim, look at me. Exactly. Oh, Andre, damn. Okay, you're right. Okay, all right. You took the food away from me and put it in the kitchen. You worked out hard. Huh? Today. You worked out so hard today. Do you want to make it? Just, I did, but it's just chicken. You've been you're eating right. chicken all night. You're going to have a protein overload. Now, that is true. Andre, mm -hmm. can I have some more water, please? There you go. We are being good. Um, Chris, what else you got? People, uh, All kinds of people commenting. Everybody was going wild for Caroline. Uh, and Patty McSnackers is laughing. AJ says Caroline's hilarious. Alyssa loves it. Deirdre Murray's laughing. Uh, your Expressions Photography says them three ladies together are fools. That's so true. Heather, oh my God, Caroline had me literally crying. Not a whole chicken, Kim, from Patricia. Do we lose Sherry, Logan? Okay. Oh, not a whole chicken. That happened chicken. last time uh, she was in the hotel, too. Kim, this is a good time. I know Sherry wants to share in the joy, but uh, whenever Andre joins you again, maybe he can help, too. We have another prize that you secured, and we'll uh, flash their business card one more time. Uh, check your phone. I think you had found a couple other names to pick from. Uh, another random drawing this time for the Blingologist uh, work. That's at She's Obsessed with Bling. Oh, so so on you're saying that we are doing the Bling? Yeah, let's get let's give away the Bling. Oh wow, we're doing that now. I we were... Unless you want you want to wait for that's, Sherry. That's the big gift, isn't it? Wait a minute. Uh, okay. Uh, that was the first giveaway. Why are your messages all in one thing? Okay. Oh, my mistake. Just read the, the bottom part from what you okay. did earlier. The bottom. What's all that then? Make one of these listeners and tell them to email Chris. That's somebody else. Uh, okay. <laughs> here we go. Um, talk, say something. All right, guys. So, so Andre, yeah. tell us more about this production company. Got it. Where did Sherry go? Okay, tell them about the more about the production company. Uh, 16th Productions, yeah. Um, scripted, non-scripted, uh, uh, documentary, and we uh, have uh, a stand-up comedy uh, thing that we're gonna be doing. So, right, so. documentary. Is this a, yeah. You say it's like a lifelong dream? It has to be. Oh. It's been leading me in that direction. It's been leading me in that direction. I mean, from stand-up, being an illustrator, uh, directing, it's all been leading me in that direction. So. That's, that's so great. I'm seriously so happy for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I, I can't wait to get something in the can and progress onward so I can catch up with these ladies and don't have to walk dogs anymore. <laughs> Sherry, Sherry, can you hear us? Yes. So, can you hear us? I love dogs. Yep. It's time. Yeah. Wants, oh, they want to do the giveaway, Sherry. For some reason, Chris is like, it's time to wrap this thing up, I guess. No, it's yeah. not at all. <laughs> By no means is that what no. I meant when I said that. You've got a giveaway to do. You've got yes. some names to pick from. We can do that in a little bit. Oh, you want to do it in a little bit? Yeah, sure. I wasn't sure if we'd get Sherry back. Yes. That was the only thing. So, so wait, you didn't think I could feel the time till we got Sherry back? We had to do a giveaway? What what? 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 Did, any, did anybody did anybody tuning in see her start spotting Andre Chris talk? But you want me reading seven thousand text messages from your uh, butt? Maybe make your own notes. I don't know. What should you do? You know my favorite thing to say to to Kim or you, Sherry. It's your podcast. <laughs> Is that your favorite thing? No, it's not. That's a lie. Oh, I thought it was something else. I was. I thought it was, I can't get it in because it's too low. Um, hey. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Sherry, so, um, go ahead, Kim. Lead the show. Go ahead. <laughs> be the be the strong <laughs> host that you are. Come on. Oh, you are so funny. I was leading it in the beginning, boo boo. Um, I got that. You know what? I wanted to tell everyone <laughs> my glasses, These because people will ask. She's doing an my ad. Glasses. She's not doing the show. 
I am doing the show because people are going to ask. This is uh, I I've started this line of glasses a while ago, but what happened to her? These glasses are I wear by Rocky. If you go on Instagram, it's I like I, and then wear W E A R by B Y, and then Rocky R A Q U I. I wear by Rocky. If you're interested in a pair of these glasses uh, under the Whitley collection. Um, so we've lost Sherry. I think she has a bad connection. You know, she's shooting Wendy Williams this week. So I didn't know that. Yeah, she looks exhausted. Yeah. You can tell. And she's touring. I mean, she's doing it. She's doing Because I ain't it's, doing damn. I'm just it's you're impressive. Not, you're very busy. I am busy. I'm putting it out there. But Sherry, to be on tour and do a talk show, who that's grueling. Yeah. I, I can't believe she came in for this 100th episode. I'd be asleep and working out. So, but did you have to work out in order to keep the energy up? So I'm excited for her. I'm getting back on the road, uh, touring, uh, doing my stand up because I'm ready to do my stand up uh, special and get it on out there. Because I'm telling you, when I saw them broke down people, I was like, life is not promised. We're on the same page. We got to do it. Yes, okay. yes. Um, Chris, Definitely. are we going to wait for Sherry? <clears throat> Chris might be gone too. We might not actually be on the podcast right now. You could just be two people talking in a room. <laughs> <laughs> we could, Chris, we could. Oh my gosh. Uh we'll we'll put Sherry back on if she comes on. I'm not sure. Um I haven't received I any the fans, uh, who 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 supported me during my absence sent sent me so much love and showed so much appreciation and and chimed in to say, Hey, we want Andre back on the show. So I'm here on the show. I'm not saying much, but hey. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, so many, so many people with so many nice things to say. Uh, Ezor eight says, "Not uh, Chris." Jerry, I've seen her so long. Look at my little boo boo. Oh, huh? Oh, no, I don't know. Welcome back, Sherry. Is Y'all. Hey, I'm Kim. in a hotel. The Wi-Fi is, is, sucks kind of over here. Yeah. Kim, I haven't seen you in so long. Sherry. I know I haven't seen her so long. You just want to pick her I up. I know and. Uh, tomorrow I have to do uh, Madison Square Garden for with uh, Kim and Babyface. I gotta I gotta get my clothes together, but I wanted to be here. So wait, tell us this: Have you been having fun on the tour? I haven't had a chance to talk to you about the tour. You've been on this amazing tour with Kim and Babyface, and I remember getting ready for the tour. Look me because I felt like I was getting ready with her. You know, just the anxiety and what it's going to be, and the clothing and everything. Have you settled in? Tell us. Talk to us. Look. We're listening. Oh, that's funny. I um, it's been so much fun, Kim. I appreciate you, all your encouragement. The first show was choppy for me. The second one is just so much better. Uh, there's some things like what you know. It's funny because they, I, I'm every woman, and I and I'll be like, "Come on, y'all, get on your feet, y'all," and they like this. I stop it every show. Cause and I've I've realized I'm not really a hype man, you know. Because like some people, you would get on the microphone and you'd be like, "Wait a minute, stop this. We're not gonna do this. We're gonna try this one more time." And they would believe you. I try to do it. I said to the DJ, I was like, "Stop the music. Excuse me, DJ. Can you can you stop the music? Okay. Anyway, y'all, get on your feet. We're not. We're. Not. Oh my God, that is hysterical! Yeah. Oh damn, we lost her again. She was just telling a good story. We got. She, uh, sorry, go ahead, Kim. Sorry. No, go ahead. No, lots of comments coming in. Everybody's laughing, having a good time with that. And Sherry is on the Wendy Show the rest of the week. We actually have a flyer if you guys want to check that out. Be sure to keep tuning in. As uh, Sherry is she on her birthday too? Yeah. Yeah, on her birthday. Yeah, Friday. Hmm. That'll be fun. And Kim's gift is in the mail. Oh, I'm that's nice. Thank, Thank you for you that. Know, she's not really a flower girl, so I couldn't surprise her on Friday. She's back. Um, yeah, no, but I could send her a ham. She would love. It. Now she works out. Now she's all right. Tips. Okay, uh -huh. send her some uh, tofu or something. No, about you know what? She, I don't know. You're right. It's gonna be hard to surprise her. <laughs> oh, she's back. Oh, oh shoot! Hey, girl. hey, finish telling us about the tour. You know, my mom is looking you, so far. I think I'm going to get lost to you guys because, no, no, I think I'm going to be lost because there's so many people on the internet um, at the hotel. 
Okay. So I am personally, because I know it gets irritating to keep losing me. Uh, <laughs> losing oh, her again. Damn. Yeah. Kim, do you want me to join you? Do you want you two to just take it from here? What We've got some things we still need to do. Yeah, well, come on until she comes back. She might I think, come on. I think that was... I think that was you do just see that horizontal view, Logan. I think that was Sherry saying she ain't coming back because the internet is jacked because everybody's back from work at her hotel, and right. it's like that. So I'll say this: um, Andre probably knows this. We talked about it. Kim's talked about it. We're actually going to get Sherry like really set up, and she says we keep it. We have to level up. We got to do this. That's the real story with the podcast. We all joke about Sherry trying to leave all this other stuff. Uh, Sherry's going to be so busy. She's going to be forced to have a good internet set up and have a good studio set up in her house at home so she can jump on, do the podcast and have some fun with you all. So Kim, do you want to, Andre, do you guys want to hear any more, uh, comments from other shows? Sure. Now, oh, hang on. I believe there was one. Oh, from prof Kim, you'll like this one a lot. Uh, totally random again, just picked it at random. Andre is super funny and hella cute. Oh, thank you. It's so random. Isn't that weird? I am Jeez. super funny when I have an opportunity to speak, but usually, you know, the two funny mamas, it's their thing. So I just chime in periodically. Like you do, Chris. I you have know. to remind myself. I am I will interrupt and try and chime yeah, in. That little face. Hi, Chris. Okay. Hello, Kimberly. You almost forgot my name. You saw the hesitation. Right, right, right. Which one are you? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Which mama? Uh <laughs> From GT Devika, I've been watching from the very first episode. I love to hear that. And I enjoyed every show. You always have me cracking up. Much love to Kim, Sherry, B Flat, Chris, and every one of you. Nice. Good catch at the end, in case you forgot anybody. Every one of you. That's a cover off. Kim, let's I thought talk. The, the, the uh, NAACP award had, had arrived because I was looking forward to taking a picture with it and posting it. It, had, it hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, what would the caption say? Uh, for the, for the photo with the award, mm -hmm. I had to thank everybody. I'm the guy that's not really a mama, but I'm here. So that that was your that would have been your caption. Yeah, I'm the guy. captivating at least, right? Really, Chris. That's... <laughs> Layla says Andre looks so young. Uh, more more comments from the live chat. Yeah, you got uh, rid of that Smurf Papa Smurf beard. Is I got a little shadow going. I got a little nice. shadow. Put it's it a down. good look. Yeah, thank you. I'm, I think I'm gonna keep it since I'm losing weight. I was worried. I had the fat face. Are you losing while. weight? Yeah. I looked at you. I didn't know if you was on crack. Okay, I'm glad we brought this up. You're doing so a you're good doing job. Good okay, good know. job. Okay. I gotta get it together because you know we be making movies and stuff. I gotta look. I don't even. Outfit. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm on day three of like seriously like enough is enough. Time to get back to uh, fight weight, and it's <laughs> it's been a problem. <laughs> This <laughs> pandemic, it has, but you work, you know, 14, you know how it is. You work all the time and then you're like, yeah, wine and pizza is pretty good when you get home, watch fights on the weekend. I'm texting Andre. I'm like, I'm just going to cook, eat a bunch of food. But the good news is when you're tall and you've done nothing, if you do something and start eating right like that, be a brand new person. It won't so, always be that way. So get it off now. It's probably not like that now. I'm just praying that it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh Lowner says we love the shadow. What this is quickly the not no surprise, by the way. I knew this would happen. Quickly has become the uh Andre celebration episode and, and I'm personally I'm a fan of it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Chris, are we gonna do the big surprise now or what are we doing? Well, I, I'm so upset Sherry isn't on for it. Right. Like, well, it's just. Fine. Do you wanna do it on another episode? No, 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 no. We promised it. Um I am not coming back. Do the announcement. That's from your boss, 51% owner of Two Funny Mamas, Sherry Shepard. It's that 1% more that makes uh, her here. Uh, I know. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't know why it wasn't 50 50. I got to talk to my attorneys. Yeah, Go that's ahead, right. Kurt. Maybe pick up the phone when I call. <laughs> Kim, she's headed off. She's heading you off. Don't sign anything. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so we got a lot of people messaging in. We've got a prize to give away. Do we want to do that? And then the announcement? Or you want to do announcement and then prize, Kim? Um, how about announcement then prize? All right. Or, so yeah, yeah, let's let's go ahead. 
Kim, back me up on this. We set a goal to have about 10 more very specific details with this announcement. Did we not? Yes. Do we have a very ominous but cool announcement to make <laughs> today? Yes. With it's not lacking all not all together. Lacking detail, but a great announcement nonetheless, right? All right. So in a, I'm going to throw a month out here. I guess it could change. It looks like in June of mm -hmm. this year, we will be doing the first ever live Two Funny Mamas and Friends experience podcast, whatever you want to say, at one of the uh, great clubs in Los Angeles. So it's going to be live there. We're working on a filming and live streaming option. So once it sells out, maybe we'll put that out uh, where you can purchase it and watch it from uh, afar. And we're promising some fun guests. And you know what else, Kim? He hasn't even signed anything, but I sure hope he's available. Uh, we're going to do a live date Andre uh, segment. <laughs> and we're going to make sure we've got three local to... <laughs> Either you're local to LA or that a, that's why Sherry was like, Kim, I was like, oops. I didn't know I was to get out the bag. I was I forgot. That's one of our announcements. We're gonna do a live date Andre. We're gonna get three women, right? Yeah, at least three from the area, or you gotta get yourself there because the prize is a dinner on two funny mamas with the man you're looking at right there. Andre right there. And you got to give us a, a report afterwards on uh, on at least some details. You can you can leave a little to the uh, imagination. But a live Two Funny Mama show it's happening. the uh, The schedules have been held. June, uh, I'll be there. Andre will be there. You can date Andre if you win the game. Kim will be there. Sherry will be there. We'll have some other guest announcements. We'll have times. And what we're shooting for, as far as schedule wise, it'll be a brunch party. Look out, folks! It's getting down. Auntie's having a cocktail. Let's have some fun, people. Right. Here we go. We might, we might fly one winner in. We don't know. Oh, we're going to get... Yeah, that's right. So we'll have more details, I yep. promise. As many things as we've hoped to happen because that have gotten messed up from success and busy schedules, this will happen. We'll see you in L.A. in June for the first ever live show. That's right. All right. Yay. So let's go ahead and do our last giveaway for the 100th episode, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Our last giveaway of the night is, drum roll, I don't know. All right, Chris. You want me to tell the name? No, I thought, what is the giveaway? You didn't say what it was. Oh, was we're blinging out a cup? cup. You get the custom cup. That's right, I thought it was obvious. My, oh, my we fault. did that already. We did not. Oh, oh. oh you sure? You did it in the beginning. We did, did we give no, it away? We did. I think we gave it. You announced it, but you we announced didn't. it. We, we did not give it. it away. We did not pick one we because you were, you were yelling at me about the message, and then we moved on to another that topic. Was sure. So we didn't say the next person's name? Okay, got it. You just texted me and told me to read. Okay. I said, read the names that you picked. Okay. Say the jokes that you tell. Okay, so we are the lucky big winner for the two. The bling cup. The bling cup. Custom. Two, custom two funny mamas. Uh, custom bling cup is. Oh, damn. I can't read. Look, look at Chris. What is that one? Yeah. Universal, universal kindness. Universal kindness. Universal kindness. So that is who. So in the live chat, I'm going to tag you. Universal kindness. You won that. Throw up the uh, business card, please, Logan. And you can follow our uh, black business for the 100th episode. That's LaShonda, the blingologist. Instagram at she's obsessed with bling. Check it out. Yay. That is great. Get a two funny mama's bling out cup. Say what? This ain't cheap. I'm telling you, I called it. I was like, oh, but they're nice. This is, this is, this is a nice cup. I, I didn't drink out of mine. I could have been drinking out of mine, but I don't want to mess it up uh, today. So that's it for the 100th episode. We got a winner for the Blinged Out Two Funny Mamas uh, Cup. Sherry had to log off everybody because her internet in the hotel. She's doing the Wendy Williams show this week. So please support her. Um, her birthday is on Friday and Jeffrey's birthday. So we and wish them do. happy birthday. Definitely, definitely. Wonderful. Absolutely. Hey, for those who didn't see, I got to see it because I didn't get to see it in person. Will you show that vase off one more time from the... Uh... 
from the background of your thing? I got it. It's it's strictly because I think it's just fun. And this is a. <laughs> I just want to see the vase again. <laughs> this vase Chris had made for our hundredth episode. Now who? And he got our faces on there. I don't know why they're like Sherry got something stuck in her teeth. <laughs> Do you have the package it came in? Oh yes. Not with you. Yes. Look, I can go get his. Right oh, here. it's not. It's not that funny. It just says Chris. It just says Kim no, Whitley. No, Chris. What's it, what's it say on it for you? Who's it, it addressed said, to? When I looked at the box, it was addressed to. It said to Kim Whitley Densman, Desmond. Den okay. Den there it Denman. is. That's the respect I'm looking for. <laughs> 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 the whole joke butchered because she doesn't know my name after two and a half years. Because I want to put an S in it every time. <laughs> to Kim Whitley Denman. I thought it said Mrs. Chris Denman. I swear I thought that's what it said. I was like, what? Sherry, <laughs> Sherry's still watching and says there is nothing stuck in her teeth. That's her gap. <laughs> she doesn't have a gap anymore, does she? She says it is. I didn't think I don't think so. Maybe mm. she does have a little gap. I never thought about it. Oh, uh, 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 since Sherry's still watching, my mom is so grateful for the tickets. She's looking Aww. forward to the show, and she wanted to bring you some flowers. And I like Sherry. They ain't gonna Sherry, be Sherry meeting and greeting. And she don't like flowers yeah. and stuff. So she, the intention was to bring you some flowers, but I, I said, Sherry, just tell your mama bring her some cash. <laughs> Throw flowers on the stage and Sherry, she'll appreciate that. Sandra, just bring cash. That's right. That's what, no, they have severe COVID. <laughs> that was a funny joke. That's great. No, the COVID protocols on that tour are, they have to be yeah, really, yeah. really strict. Yes. Yeah, so that's what I told her. She, yes. she probably wouldn't get backstage or see her. Amazing. Well, in true Two Funny Mamas fashion, we're ending without the uh, other half of the show. It's your mom's heart. No flowers. It's like no flowers, just dollars. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Uh, if you missed it, we're going to play the uh, congratulations from all of uh, the friends of Two Funny Mamas. And uh, if you missed it and you're just tuning in now, we had a special secret guest stop by. We had a lot. So share this with your friends. If you want to see 100 more episodes, subscribe. I bet we can get to 100,000 subscribers this year. That's a big milestone. And uh, we're looking forward to amateur oh, porn please, and please, Kim's please. Uh, comedy special in the, the next year. It's so silly. Absolutely hit the subscribe. If you want two funny mama's merchandise, go to byjack.com slash two funny mamas. I want to thank you on behalf of my partner Sherry Shepherd. Sherry Shepherd. Oh, Sherry yeah. Shepherd. <laughs> what was in that cup? <laughs> yeah, right. I wanna I wanna thank you. I mean, I've I've been blessed to uh, be able to talk with you all for a hundred episodes. It truly is a blessing. Time does go by. Uh, God knows what he's doing. It put us together. And uh, and then you guys came along. So wait, one more thing. By God, yes. that's, that's Sherry Shepard's music. Your, look how long your finger is, huh? <laughs> what? By, <laughs> there you go. That takes up half the screen. <laughs> by oh, God, that's please. Sherry Shepard's music. Sherry Shepard's in the live chat. She says, uh, Andre, appreciate your mom's heart. No flowers needed. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening to Two Funny Mamas. Let's keep it going. God bless you. Thanks, everybody. Hello, ladies. Congratulations on the 100th episode. I'm in my own damn tub. I don't need yours. So there. Enjoy the episode. I'm just chilling. Hey, it's your girl, B-Flat, and I just want to show some love to my two funniest heifers, Kim and Sherry. Congratulations on your 100th episode. Sorry, it's a tongue twister. Love ya. And I'm drunk. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Throw that in there. It's my birthday. And don't edit that out, Grace. Hey, Kim and Sherry. Congratulations on 100 episodes of Two Funny Mamas. I love this show and I love co-hosting. Thanks for having me on from your favorite co-host. Don't forget, your favorite, C. Mickey. Mwah.
Kim, Sherry, it's Craig Shoemaker, also known as your mediator. Congratulations on your 5,000th episode. What, how many is it? Whatever it is, you've had a lot of episodes. It would have ended at 89 if I didn't step in. Remember your fight? And remember how we settled the fight on the air? And then remember how you submitted it to win the NAACP award? I think you should fight more, have me on more, and you'll do even better. You have how many more? 3,000 more episodes. Anyway, congratulations. You're the best. Can't wait to see you again. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think either of you would be a damn thing without me, but you've done it. Congratulations on 100 episodes. Two funny mamas. Love y'all. Hi, I'm Frida Payne, and I am here to congratulate you both on your 100th anniversary of doing Two Funny Mamas. Now, Two Funny Mamas has been more than just a show. It's been an event. And the, you two working together, you just bounce off of one another like that. It just works out. You can't help but be funny. Uh, I had a good time, and I have to say that I'm proud to uh, have been one of those guests on your shows. Talking about my book and my CDs and all that stuff and my whole career. So congratulations, ladies, and keep up the good work. Sherry and Kim, congratulations on 100 episodes of Two Funny Mamas. That's a whole lot of ADD, dysfunctional uh, digressions, starting a topic and not getting back to the original topic. That's a whole lot of that in one podcast. But I love you too. I'm excited for you. Y'all started this journey and I said, listen, see if y'all can go like six months and not kill each other and stick with it. And the fact that y'all stayed with it this long is a pretty remarkable thing. I love y'all. Keep entertaining people and congratulations on the NAACP Image Award. Good morning, girls. Good afternoon. Good day. It's 420, which may not mean anything to you too, but it means a lot to some other mothers up here. Happy 100th episode, 100th episode of Two Funny Mamas. And as another funny mama over here, I just want to say I know what it takes to pull them episodes together. I only got 62, 62 of my episodes up. I was like, I, I, I can't do it no more. Um, uh, time would not permit. Mothers need a laugh. These days we need to celebrate a hundred of anything. A hundred dollars, a hundred years of life, a hundred sit-ups, a hundred episodes. There's nothing to shake a stick at. So you have a wonderful day. I'm going to do what I do over here on 420. Congratulations to you both on your awards and your fan base and everything. Congratulations, my friends. hundred episodes. Hey everybody, it's your girl comedian Melanie Comarcho, and I just want to say congratulations to two funny mamas. 100 episodes. They just made 100. That's a milestone, y'all, in podcast time. 100 episodes. Congratulations. And I'm not psychic or anything, but I see 200 coming soon. Congratulations, ladies. Two funny mamas. They doing it. They doing it. Y'all make sure y'all support my girls, Two Funny Mamas. Hey! Congratulations, Sherry and Kim, on your 100th episode of Two Funny Mamas. We were asked um, to give one thing or one suggestion that you guys may can improve on. My suggestion is let's try to schedule the podcast at least eh, five days ahead, not five minutes prior to the podcast starting. That way, you know, Chris, I have everything intact. We can keep giving the listeners another 100 episodes. That would be great. Fantastic. Congratulations. You guys deserve it. Keep rolling. Don't stop. Nothing but up from here if we get the schedule right. Oh, oh, oh. It's the Two Funny Mamas 100th episode show. See what I did there? Took a little Tom Joyner. Brought it to you guys and Two Funny Mamas. I could not be any happier for you and your success. Thank you for your friendship for the fun, and thank you for being some really just good chicks and great people and human beings. So very happy for all the success you guys have achieved so far and looking forward to the next. Take care, I love you very much. Go, Two Funny Mamas, go! 100 episodes, wow, Two Funny Mamas. What's in your purse? Should be what's in your bra, that's what you really should Segment should be what's in my bra. 
But anyway, hey, congratulations. Get to the place to be. Got kicked out your mama's university. And happy 100th anniversary episodes. I don't know if it's even an anniversary, but one episode is major. You help us can talk a lot. So I'm surprised it's not a thousand episodes by now. God bless y'all. I love y'all too. You know that. Two funny mamas.